Okay, and then there's a couple more reactions right here. Uh, how about this one up here? So what are we going to get there? What's going to happen here? We've got a double bonded hydrocarbon here, so it's an alkene. What's the name of it? Longest continuous chain, one, including the double bond, one, two, three, four. So it's a butene with a methyl at the two. So it's a two methyl butene, right? And uh, that two methyl butene is going to react with this. So who knows the answer? I, I do, chem guy, I do. Uh, what is it? Well, you just, it's an it's a addition reaction. Put all the two O's. No. Look, whenever you see plus O2, don't get freaked out. It's not like adding Cl2 or I2 or Br2 or F2 and any of those halides. This is oxygen. And so what we're going to get here, and your teacher's going to do this, going to try to trick you. Be aware. Stay awake. CO2 plus H2O. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just hydrocarbon combustion. O2 is going to burn it, right? That's what type of reaction it's going to be. It ain't going to be substitution. It ain't going to be addition. It's going to be way more vigorous where electrons are going to be whipped around and exchanged and we're going to get something that ends up being a redox reaction and that is what's going to happen. And all you have to do then is be able to say anytime CO plus O2, make it CO2 and H2O. That's hydrocarbon combustion. Okay, now. Uh, four carbons there, so we put a four there. How many hydrogens? Well, I'm not even going to count them because that's an alkene, CNH2N. And so therefore, if there's actually four carbons there, or sorry, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five carbons there, there's going to be ten hydrogens. And so that means I'm going to put a five there. What am I going to put in front of there? Eight plus five is thirteen. So I can put thirteen halves here, and that's balanced. Now you're going to say, my teacher won't let that happen. Okay, then multiply everything by 2. So it's 2, 13, 8, and 10, right? Okay. Now, the last type of reaction is kind of the opposite of an addition reaction. It's called elimination. So just remember, uh, the opposite of addition, add together, is to eliminate, to take it away. So if you have this molecule here in concentrated sulfuric acid, this is what can happen. And usually there's not any other reactant. There's just one. So that'll tell you it's pretty much an elimination reaction. What are you going to eliminate? Well, what we can do, and what's it, what a simple, an obvious type of elimination reaction is to create water from an alcohol because actually you can take water and make an alcohol in an addition reaction. You can take an HOH and perform uh, a substitution, uh, an addition, <laughs> where you put on an H and an OH onto a double bonded molecule. Here we're going to recreate the double bonded molecule. So we take the H and the OH off and we make HOH and then we take this molecule and we take away these two bonds and what we end up doing is we end up with putting back in a double bond. So we're going to have a CH3 and it's going to be bonded to this, which is then going to be a carbon with another CH3 group on it up here, and a double bond to another carbon with two CH3 groups on it there. You can see that if you just take those out and put a double bond in here, you'll get that, and then of course plus water. Oh, now, what is the name of that right there? One, two, three, four is the longest continuous chain of carbons with two methyl groups on an ene that's located in the middle of four. So it's going to be a buta, right? And, and it's going to be, where is the ene? It's going to be at the two. So it's but, we don't have to say buta, just but two ene with methyls on the two, three, two, comma, three hyphen dimethyl butuene. <sighs> okay, so that is another type of reaction. That is the combustion or hydrocarbon combustion. And then when you're reforming those double bonds, that's elimination.